going to use one that looks kind of like a toothbrush. Again, it's metal, okay? And that's what we use because I need to free my instrument of all pathogens, right? So remember, I'm only reducing pathogens to a safe level because that's sanitization. If I don't have time to manually do them, we can also put them in what we call an ultrasonic cleanser, which has moving parts, kind of like a wash machine that shifts back and forth, and it also will loosen the debris. So I'm not going to use this one, which is what we normally have. I'll just put this up here. But I want you to see something. And you notice with the needle holder, it's a little bit flat, right? It's a little more flat. God bless you. And this one, which is my straight um, Kelly hemostat, it has grooves in here. Can anyone tell me what those grooves are called? Serrations. Serrations, okay? So I'm going to sanitize this instrument, but I just wanted you to see the difference, okay? I have to get all of the spaces and the grooves in here because what will happen is, say I was using this instrument and I use it and I put it into the patient's body cavity. Now it has blood and bodily fluids on it. When I close this, this hinge here, blood will come out from here. So that means I have to clean that really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, when um, I'm going to use my metal brush, uh, wet my brush, and then I can use any antibacterial soap. That's fine. Any soap is fine. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the direction of the instrument. So you see how I'm holding it. And even though I'm wearing gloves, what we're really supposed to wear, and if you see it on the test, it's utility gloves. Why? Because you want to protect yourself. So I'm going to go in the direction of the serrations, okay? In the direction first, and then I'm going to go the opposite way, perpendicular to it. Same thing, come on this side, in the direction of the serrations, and then the opposite. I'm also going to go in here into the grooves, go on the side here, go on the side here, and then I'm going to do each side, all four sides here, okay? Make sure I get the tip. I always look at it like this. I cleaned instruments like it was going into my family member that I love. Okay, not one that you don't like. Okay, <laughs> remember that you love, okay? So I always did it that way. I'd look at it to make sure that it was, you know, as clear and free of pathogens as possible. After I do that, I'm gonna come to this side. I'm gonna do all four sides, opening it up, all four sides. Then I'm gonna do the ring inside and outside, both rings. Okay, so do both of these sides. And then I'm gonna do the lock box. Again, in the direction of the serration here, then this side, direction of the serration in the opposite way, okay? And then I rinse it. Now, most times, because if we have blood on this, what I'm gonna do is, and actually, this looks like it has, okay, I'm gonna discard it. Um, if it has blood on it, then we usually like to wash it uh, or sanitize it in cold water because cold water will um, break up the blood a little bit better, but when I rinse it, I'll rinse it in warm water, okay? So, let's get to it. Use my instrument. I should have what on? Goggles, right? Goggles. So again, one in the direction of the serration, opposite way, okay? Again, direction of the serration, which are my grooves, opposite, kind of close it up a little bit, do this side, flip it over, do this side. I want to get all the sides and the tip, okay? Then I'm also going to do right here where my hinge is, have it closed first and then open it and make sure I'm doing the hinge so inside here and also on the bottom. Anywhere where because if you can see this, look at this here. See how I'm closing it and soap is coming through? Mm -hmm. What you'll see is blood coming through. Okay, so that's how you know sometimes things get in the crevice and you can't see it. So that means you have to address every part. So I'm gonna get every four sides, all four sides. I'll just handle here. And always be careful not to let this metal brush touch your fingers, because you will feel it, if you're, especially if you're not wearing utility gloves. So on the outside, the inside of the ring. Okay. Now, some people have asked me, do I wear 
PPE, there's nothing wrong with that, especially because this is flashing, so I need to have glasses, goggles on. There's nothing wrong with wearing PPE. So again, same direction of the serrations, and then the opposite direction. I need to get the other side, and same thing here. Same direction of the serrations, in the opposite way. And now, I have addressed everything. So sometimes I go back over just to do it again, rinse my brush off, and now I'm going to open it up, close it, and I want to get all the soap off. Now, do you feel safe enough to use this instrument on your body? I hope not, because all I've done is what? That's it. I just reduced pathogens to a safe level. What's the next thing I would have to do? What would be the next stage? Disinfection. So I would need to put it into a disinfectant solution if I have that. And then I'm going to open up the uh, hinge so that it can dry. And that's what each of you are going to do. Now, if you don't have disinfectant solution, yes, it can truly go from sanitizing right into the pack. But I might want to make sure that I dry it first because remember I was saying that if the paper gets wet, even if I'm putting the plastic side down, I don't want it to be compromised and get a hold and have to do everything all over again. I'm trying to save time. Okay? Any questions?